Hi guys, and welcome back to KG Creations. I'd like to welcome myself back. It's been a while. I've just been busy. Work, decorating at the weekends. You know how it is. But yeah, I've not had much free time, but the little free time I've had, I managed to finish my Commander Farsight. I'll just grab... Here we go. So, here he is. All finished, painted up. So uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go through in detail little bits that I've done that are, are not being videoed. Obviously I couldn't video it because I didn't have the time. It's literally like, pick some paint up, paint for five minutes, put it down, wash my brush, pick some paint up, 20 minutes. And I've just been doing that over the course of, since I've put the last video out. But yeah, he's now done. I got the airbrush out last night and just bashed out some OSL on him. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. So I'll just turn the camera around, take you through, and hopefully we'll have a cool video. Cheers, guys. So here he is. The blade is just a piece of plastic that I found, clear plastic. I carefully cut it out. I've sp sprayed it with the airbrush, getting lighter and lighter towards the end. Put some OSL on his arm. Gone over it with the frost effect and the snow effect. I haven't clear coated it yet, so it will be slightly shinier when it's been clear coated, but it's fine. It's an ice and snow environment, so shoot me. So we'll go through what we've been doing. I've been putting some little some of the little marks that you see on the suits, like the little lines and dashes and that. I've been putting a few bits of them on the kneecaps and on the inside of the legs. Let's see if we can turn it around without breaking it. There. Now they're like the little rusty bits that you can see on the edges. It's literally just a uh, scrag brown I think I used. A uh, three quarter scrag brown and a quarter black mixed together on a on a sponge and just rip the sponge off sellotaped it to a cocktail stick and started dabbing yeah you get this like speckly rusty pattern pretty awesome shields finished it says farsight engraved that was hard and that did say for the greater good but obviously it's covered in snow now so it's big on his banner anyway for the greater good and that was translated properly i didn't use google translate uh, a very nice man on the Tao page. Uh, I, can't, I can't remember where he's from. I'm sure he's from Japan somewhere. Uh, he translated it for me. He had the book and sent me screenshots of the pages. So, yeah, the translation's correct. That says Farsight 8. He's got a little 8 on there. It's a bit covered in snow, but yeah. Various little bits of uh, OSL hanging about. Scratches, snow. Try and get in there. The ribbons turned out nice. I wanted them kind of a dusty, kind of dirty red. Just a bit, a bit of a nod to the the actual far sight colours. So yeah, when I first started this out, I was thinking of white, but then I started adding the blue, and I just. As you've seen with the Riptide, if you've not, go and see the Riptide videos. I base coated it white first. And then I started going over it in blue and I just I just went with it. I just think it looks better. Kind of a dirty, frozen, white, blue. Yeah, whatever. But yeah, the drones turned out nice. Kind of a dirty gold. Bits of snow and frost gathered. Now for the panel lining, what I did is I started out with contrast black, but it got a bit messy. So what I did is I switched to uh, oil paint and I mixed that with odorless terps, mineral spirit. You want the odorless because it absolutely reeks if you have the normal one and it stinks your house out for days. So either get the odorless or do it outside. 
I just mixed a bit of that with some paint until it was like a wash consistency. Now you do have to panel line twice because it dries sort of translucent on the first one. And then when you go over it again, the black really sets in and you get the deep black panel lines. I mean, you don't have to do black. You can do white panel lines, whatever color you want, but I just went with black. So yeah, I didn't do much edge highlighting. Couldn't be bothered to be honest. Just got a bit inventive with the airbrush. I did a few edge highlights here and there, but the rust covers most of them up anyway. Uh, the fractal pattern I did on my Riptide, I just did a bit on the shoulder blades, just freehand. Yeah, yeah, it's not great, but I honestly don't care. in the light the little vents you can see at the back are just subtly put a bit of green in them i was going to do his vents at the back it was like a fiery orange like hot but i changed my mind and just green sprayed them like fusion instead yeah the fusion blade i'm most happy with i think though i think i'm gonna Add a touch of yellow and do like a yellow to white edge highlight on that just to make it look like more poppy. Don't think that's the right word, but to create more contrast. There we go. We'll do it properly. Because as you can see on the end there, focus, god damn you. There we go. Did you see that the little edge highlight there? That was just done with a, a really thin down white. But it's not bright enough, so I think I'm going to change it to like a yellow. The base turned out nice. It's just simple, simple base. All I did was I got this base, wrapped it in a thick tape, and just poured resin in, poured resin in. Uh, went over the top with a splash gel, a Green Stuff World sell it. It's really good, actually. It takes a while to dry, but it's a really thick gel and it holds its own weight. So yeah, that turned out cool. Just put a bit of a uh, powder snow and frost, uh, liquid frost. If you mix them together, it creates like a slurry. But then when it dries, you get the fractal like icicles as well. So yeah, that turned out nice. All in all, really happy with it. I hope you guys like it too. And uh, yeah, be prepared to wait another six months. <laughs> Until I get my other one done. Well, my other six done. I think I'm going to do Torchstar next. Because I've got Torchstar's drones. It's the Marker Light drones. But I made them. They're uh, custom. But yeah, I think I'll do that next. So, watch out for that video. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like. Give it a share. Looking to get some more subs. Awesome. Cheers, guys. I'll see you soon. Thanks. Hello again, guys, and welcome back. Should welcome myself back. It's been that long. So, yeah, welcome back to KD Creations. Start again.